What's up guys, my name is Ace, and a lot of people have been asking me to share my top 5 or top 10 weapons list in Modern Warfare 3, and so it's time for that video, but before we get into this list, just a few disclaimers. This is my personal list. If you guys disagree with any of these guns, that's great. I'd love to hear what you guys would put on this list instead. Additionally, I want to point out, this is my top 10 overall list for the average player out there, to help the average player be as competitive as possible. So it's accounting for versatility and ease of use as well, and that's why you're not going to see a sniper on this list. Is that because every sniper in the game is horrible? No, not necessarily, and in the right hands, a sniper rifle can be incredibly powerful, but in the hands of the average player out there, it's not going to yield the most success possible for them. Also, at least for like the first half of this list, I'm going to say it's in no particular order, but I am going to save the absolute best, in my opinion, for last. Also, of course, weapon balancing will be changing over time, so if you happen to be watching this video down the road a little bit, it may not apply anymore simply due to weapon balancing. And let's just start this off with what may be a bit of a surprise to some of you. This is actually a Modern Warfare 2 gun. This is the M4A1. And this is the build I'm using in the gameplay here. Just keep in mind, this is not necessarily a perfectly optimized build. Just something I threw together and it worked out quite well. And you might be wondering, why is there a Modern Warfare 2 gun on this list? Don't all of them suck in this game? And the answer is not quite all of them. Most of them are not going to be your best option and Modern Warfare 3 guns tend to be better. But the M4 got a buff a little while back. And since that buff, it's actually a really solid option now in this game. It's got a very solid time to kill potential at 296 milliseconds and the nice part about this one is it applies anywhere in the body so you don't even have to like make sure you're hitting upper torso shots or anything you literally just shoot them anywhere and as long as you're in your maximum damage range you're going to get a nice consistent time to kill potential with decent accuracy and solid handling as well so there we go a little bit of a curveball to start this off as for the next one on my list here that i feel deserves a top 10 spot at least this is the striker not the striker 9 but the regular striker or striker 45 and this is that gun that was absolutely dominant in the beta build of the game, then they nerfed it heavily for the launch of the game, and it became a not-so-great option, but then they gave it a buff that kind of met halfway in between the beta version of the game and the launch version of the game, and I honestly think it's in quite a good state now, and it is a very solid SMG to be using in Modern Warfare 3. Now, with this gun and many others in this video, I already have gun guides done for them, so if you guys want to see a really detailed breakdown and some excellent attachment combinations, like various attachment combinations that are really good with these guns, I will leave a link to that gun guide playlist in the description of the video. But next up, let's get into a gun that was the top dog a little while back, but it did catch a nerf, and I would say it's no longer the top dog, but it's still up there as one of the better guns in the game. This is the DG-56, previously known as the DG-58. They snuck that change to the name under the radar. But with this, it's a three-round burst gun with a very forgiving burst delay. There's not much of a burst delay on that at all. It's very accurate, great handling, easy to control, and generally speaking, you're going to be just two bursting people, and even with that, you're going to be quite competitive with it. But you also have the potential to get a one burst kill, as long as two of those bullets in the burst lands on the head. After that, let's talk a little bit about the MTZ 556. Now, this gun, in my opinion, has always been a very solid choice. I understand some people aren't a big fan of the recoil on it. It can be a little bit tricky to predict sometimes. But if you treat this right and you keep yourself in those closer to somewhat mid-range engagements, this is where this gun really shines. And it actually has one of the best time to kill potentials up close to the body out of all of the assault rifles in the game. It actually competes quite well against SMGs up close, and I would say it pretty much dominates any of the assault rifles up close. It's just that if you do try to stretch your range out a little bit, you may not find the most success with the MTZ. Now, before we move into my next gun in this top 10 list, today's video is sponsored by Private Internet Access VPN. Whenever you're browsing online, your device will transmit a ton of information out in the open that can be viewed by various entities before reaching the intended website. A VPN will hide your IP address and safeguard your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. With private internet access, not only do you gain that protection, you also gain access to geo-restricted content. Many streaming platforms, like Netflix for instance, they have massive catalogs, but you can only access a fraction of that depending on your location, unless you use private internet access. And I personally love this feature, because I live in Canada, and Canada's notorious for heavily geo-locking a lot of the content, but now I can access Netflix libraries from anywhere in the world. Watching Netflix without private internet access is like buying a battle pass, but only gaining access to like a third of the content that you're paying for. Additionally, private internet access is available on all platforms, and the best part is, you can use one private internet access subscription to cover an unlimited number of devices at the same time. So if you want to make sure you're protecting all of your devices while also gaining access to geo-restricted content, make sure you check out private internet access using my special link down below, which will give you an 83% discount. That's just over $2 a month, plus you get four months completely free with your subscription. 
Big thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring the video. All right, getting back to it, the next gun I have on my list here is yet another Modern Warfare 2 gun that I feel definitely deserves a mention here, and this is the M13B. Just like with the M4A1, this has a solid time to kill. It actually has a bit of a better time to kill than the M4A1, but it's not to the full body. You do have to be mixing in some torso shots there, which is pretty easy to do overall. Additionally, it's very accurate, solid handling on there, and one of those guns that just flies under the radar since most people are focused on the Modern Warfare 3 guns, as they probably should be. I just wanted to point out that you shouldn't sleep on the M13B if you're looking for a solid setup. Next up, I wanted to include my favorite LMG in here, or at least the LMG that I find is the most versatile and I'd say the easiest to use. This is actually the Holger 26. Now for me, I like running this like an assault rifle, so I like creating a build somewhat like this. And when you do this, this gun is ridiculously accurate. You get solid handling for an LMG at least, and honestly, it wouldn't even be that bad for an assault rifle. Our base time to kill potential to the body may not stand out, but the moment you mix a single headshot in there, you now have a highly competitive time to kill at 255 milliseconds. And since this gun is so accurate, it's typically not that difficult to land that single headshot mixed in with torso shots. And this just makes for an excellent, versatile, all-around sort of gun. I probably would avoid using it in really close quarter situations, but mid to somewhat longer ranges, the Holger 26 does very well. After that, let's throw another SMG in here. I would say my favorite SMG in the game at the moment is the Rival 9. This gives us a very solid and competitive time to kill potential up close at 264 milliseconds. It's got an amazing aim down sight time as well as sprint out speed. It's quite accurate, or at least you can build it to be very, very accurate without too many downsides to that. And in general, this is actually my favorite SMG to use in the entire game at the moment. Now, before we get into my top three, I did want to give one honorable mention here to my favorite sidearm, and this is the Core 45 using one of the triggers that improves your fire rate. Now, admittedly, this gun will depend on your trigger finger. If you don't have a really good trigger finger, this gun probably isn't going to be that great for you. But if you have a really good trigger finger, and let's just say you can reach 600 rounds per minute or so, you get a time to kill potential of 200 milliseconds, which is ridiculously fast in this game. There's not much in this game that can compete with a 200 millisecond time to kill, especially when you also factor in the fact that it's a pistol, so it's handling and mobility stats are really good. It's also super accurate. I can pick people off across the map with this gun. And honestly, with the right setup, I can use the Core 45 much more effectively than many of the primary weapons in this game. I feel super confident every time I pull this pistol out, and I'd highly recommend giving it a go if you have a solid trigger finger. And now let's get into what I consider to be the top three guns in the entire game at the moment. The first one I'm going to mention here is the MCW. Now the thing about the MCW is it doesn't have a ridiculously good time to kill potential, with body shots at least. It actually kills a little bit on the slower side with body shots. In saying that, it's an incredibly accurate full auto gun that's just super easy to use. You don't really have to account for a whole lot of recoil with this. So it's really good at those longer ranges just due to the fact that you won't be missing shots where other people will be missing shots with other guns. And then on top of that, within that maximum damage range, just like with the Holger 26, all you have to do is mix one single headshot in with body shots. And now you have a really fast time to kill at 252 milliseconds. So this is just one of those guns where it's super easy to use, very easy to control, and if you know that you need to land that headshot up close, you can be very competitive even against SMGs. As for number two on my list, this is the Holger 556. And with this gun, it's also incredibly accurate. I wouldn't say it's quite as accurate as the MCW, but it still holds its own just fine, even at extremely long ranges. And with this, it's just a very consistent gun. That's the thing I like about this. You don't need to make sure you're landing torso or upper torso shots or anything. You can shoot them anywhere in the body and you'll still get a very solid time to kill. Additionally, its maximum damage range is excellent in this game at 36.8 meters. And that's where it's gonna be a four shot kill anywhere in the body. And then in the minimum damage range, you're killing noticeably faster than the MCW while still having a very accurate gun on your hands. So just for overall consistency, versatility, and ease of use, the Holger 556 is an incredible gun in this game. And this is even after the nerfs that we saw to this gun. It used to be a four shot kill at any range, but even now when it drops off to a five shot kill, it's still a very solid gun no matter what the range is. And then finally, this leaves us with number one on my list, and I'm sure many of you guys can guess this just due to the fact that it hasn't shown up yet, and it's gotta make the top 10. This is the Bass B Battle Rifle. And this gun has an insanely good time to kill potential to the body for anything that isn't an SMG. In the first two damage ranges, so all the way out to 44 meters, this kills in 270 milliseconds. That's faster than nearly all of the SMGs in the game. And not only that, in that maximum damage range, which extends out pretty far to 35 meters, 
You can shoot them anywhere in the body, so it's a very forgiving gun. It doesn't matter if you shoot them in the toe or the upper torso. You're still getting that 270 millisecond time to kill. It's also quite an accurate gun. It has solid enough handling for a battle rifle. And I've just found this gun is really hard to beat, especially within its four shot kill ranges, because none of the assault rifles can really reliably compete with a 270 millisecond time to kill. And while some of the SMGs can, they've got like a third of the range potential as the Bass B, and they're also typically a lot less accurate than the Bass B. So that's why, in my opinion at least, this is the best gun in Modern Warfare 3 currently. And with that, that's finally gonna wrap it up for my top 10 list at the moment in Modern Warfare 3. Now I wanna say there were several guns that were really close to making this top 10 list. It was a bit difficult to narrow it down to just 10. So I know some of you guys might be thinking like, why wasn't my favorite gun on this list? Just because a gun didn't make this top 10 list, it doesn't mean that I think it's a bad gun. I think there are many guns in this game that are very usable and just fine. But this is where I wanted to speak a little bit about overall weapon balancing as well. In the game's current state, I think there is a pretty big gap between the best guns in the game and the worst guns in the game. And in my opinion, since we have a generally slower time to kill overall, rather than nerfing the good guns, like my top three guns, for instance, in this game, I would much rather see them buff up the weaker guns to bring them closer to the level of the better guns in the game. And I think that really makes sense with having the generally slower time to kill in Modern Warfare 3. Like if we were in a game where the general time to kill was really fast, I would be on the opposite end of the spectrum. I would say that I'd rather see them nerf the better guns to slow things down a little bit and match the weaker guns in the game. Not in this case, I'd rather see them buff up the weaker guns for Modern Warfare 3. And I do feel there is still a lot of room for improvement when it comes to general weapon balancing in Modern Warfare 3. That's not to say that there aren't a bunch of very good and usable guns. I just think some of the really weak guns could really use a lot of love. And with that, that is going to wrap it up for today's video on my top 10 guns currently in Modern Warfare 3. And this is where I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What are some of your favorite guns in Modern Warfare 3 at the moment? And were there any guns that I didn't put on my top 10 list that you would absolutely put on your top 10? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.